What's going on guys? It's Master Grade Monday. And I figured since I went ahead and did the Age 1 Full Glance on Friday, we'll go ahead and do the Master Grade Age 1 Normal today. So, uh, this, as I mentioned, is one of my favorite Master Grades ever. And it does actually have one of my favorite gimmicks ever. And we will talk about that. Uh, excuse my runny nose, I apologize for sniffing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this great, great box art. So right here you get to see the Master Grade Age 1 right there. You get to see the G Exus, I think it is. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's not the G Bouncer, so it's got to be the G Exus. That's cool. And then you get a clench right there. Get a nice shot of the Diva, which is there, not white base. Um, and then you get all kinds of fun stuff. Let's see here. I'm going to turn it, see if you can see. And get some vegan suits up here at the top. That's pretty cool. And of course, this is a master grade box, which is very tall, so we're that's a push all the way back. So we have the Master Grade Age logo up there. You get the Gundam Age 1 normal down this side as usual. Bandai logo down here at the bottom. And here it is Bandai 2012 made in Japan, because of course it was. Alright, so we'll come down to here. We get the uh, weapons breakdown. You get the Dodds Rifle, which is the first real weapon, I think, created by the Age system. It's got some cool stuff. It does things. You can hold it. That's cool. You got some beam saberies there. That's pretty awesome. You get a great action shot right there. You got, well, basically it's saying it's very, very posable right there. Hand parts. You gotta love hand parts. Leg. It's got a leg. You got markings because, of course, you have markings. Now, I like these uh, knee things, and I'll talk about those when we get to it. And you come over here. Sorry, stuff in the way. And, of course, you get your warnings and your plastics and all that got stuff. You get illustration by Art Presto and Yamamoto Hiroyuki. I do believe that was on another uh, Master Grade box. Probably the 00 artwork, I think. And I don't know exactly what they're talking about right here. Master Grade parts. I don't know. Inner frame. I have no idea what they're talking about there. It's pretty cool. And this is 3,500 yen. And because I did this backwards, we're going to go this way. <laughs> you get the little warnings and import stickers here. Gundam.info. And we come to the back and you get some cool artwork right there. I like that faded color scheme of like the uh, tech photo. That's pretty cool. And you get some similar artwork here and then showing it off what they actually are there. Of course, you get the story of the Age 1. That's pretty cool. If you know anything, I like Age. I like the idea of Age. It may not have been executed that well, but Age was a decent series. Of course, you got clear parts there with the Age A on the chest. And, of course, you get your obligatory front and rear shots there. You got your little cockpit hiding right there and a little bitty flit asano, which uh, might, might be in the cockpit, I think. <laughs> Who knows? But that's it uh, for the box art. And, uh, yeah, look, it's upside down. <laughs> There's no good way to do it, guys. When they're vertical like this, I can't fake it. It happens. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the display, out of the box, and take a look at this awesome Master Grade. All right, guys, we've got the Age 1 out and looking pretty awesome now this is actually the stance i have him in in the display because it kind of shows a little bit of what this guy can do uh, maneuvering wise now truth be told this was probably like the fourth maybe fifth master grade i put together so uh <laughs> you'll probably see uh quite a few nub marks not quite you know fixed up uh, maybe some darker panel lining more than likely we'll go ahead and take a look at this guy and I don't have it on a display because he stands so well. Honestly, he doesn't need to be on an action base. I just, I really do dig this. I can go ahead and do a quick walk around here. Because there's there's a lot of good detail on this guy. A lot like with the uh, HG model. It just, it has a lot going on and it's awesome. So this thing is really, really cool. I love this. love this shield. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of unpose him. Hopefully, he's not too stiff. He's been in that same position for a long time. Let's see here. 
That <laughs> that arm is really stiff. I'm gonna go ahead and actually the beam saver is probably gonna stay in his hand. I'm not gonna lie. I will take off the beam effect just because we're pretending. Go ahead and rotate. Oh, he's a little dusty still. Okay. So now we've got him in a not not really posing, just kind of chilling. And this guy's great. I do. I even like these stickers. This is one of the first ones that I actually went back and redid the sticker system on because because it just it looks good with them. You know, I mean, it's 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 a very plain and simple kit. It's very sim similar to the uh, the original Grandpa RX seventy eight Gundam. And basically, that's like what you want to do in the beginning of a series. You want something that's similar to that. And I think this is about as close as it gets, realistically. You got the blue chest, you got the red bits there, yellow parts here, you got the yellow vents. I mean, other than the way the uh, age V fins work, it's basically a Grandpa Gundam. They even made sure that the fins were white instead of yellow. But I do really like this guy. I'm going to say it a lot. <laughs> so let's look up close and check out some of these details. If I can capture some light here. So you do get the can't tell okay so those are foil stickers that uh, one of them comes with an option for clear eyes I don't remember if it was him or the H2 so you get foil stickers here for the main camera up there see I, I mentioned it on the HD review which was gold this one is uh, green like it should be and you do get a whole lot of of side stickers right there I'll go ahead and talk about head articulation since we're here and you can go all the way around there's a hair on there you do get a rear uh, sticker for the back of the head it's always good turn it all the way around that head crest kind of wants to pop off I can feel it all right he gets a little bit of turkey neck like so I think it's just a hinge here and a ball joint up there come down to the chest and you get the fantastic, uh, you know, age symbol. Now, I'm trying to recall, judging by the damage in there, one of the ages, I can't remember if it was this guy or age two, I screwed up and I forgot to put the reflective sticker back there. It actually sticks kind of backwards to make that pop a little bit more. And uh, I had to completely remove it and ended up breaking the clear plastic, but sticking it back together it was fine actually in there but you can see that looks pretty cool and if you pop it open like so and pull some of this dust in here and you can open it all the way and there's your cockpit i rarely get to show off the actual cockpit i love the way it extends and you get your little bitty flit in there push that back in and awesomeness so like i said very dusty <laughs> oh sorry let me see if i can get Okay, let's talk articulation on these shoulders here. Oh, I gotta tilt the light back just a little bit. There we go, so I can see. All right, so you do get this interesting kind of accordion effect here. You got a ball joint back here and you got a hinge here. So you can see how it makes that cutout work. So you can really kind of turn it up like so. You don't wanna go too far because now you're stressing that actual uh, peg for the arm, but it gives you Lots of rotation and shrug ability. You know, we like to shrug around here. So you can go, mm, sad age. Mm. Okay. And then, of course, you get the rotation all the way around if you avoid the spoiler on the back. We don't even call it a wings. It's a spoiler. It's so weird. <laughs> but, of course, it's a master grade. You get lots and lots of articulation. So we can get a full reach up like so. That sounded weird, not gonna lie. That sounded a little strange when I said reach up. But he can do the full shooting up in the air. And of course, that would be a high teacher, but he's you know, got a thing here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you do get some bicep rotation. It'll go all the way around as biceps should on a Gundam. You do get a double jointed elbow, and you can see right here, really bad nub. Nub mark. Nub mark bad. And if he didn't have the gun in his hand, he could probably bend a little bit better so let me see if I can rotate the gun out of the way nope can't it's pegged into right there so rotate the gun out of the way and we will go ahead and touch his own shoulder that's awesome that's some great articulation come down here the wrist is double articulated so you got a peg inside here this in itself is kind of a hinge 
so I can straighten it out. I gotta get the whole thing to rotate. Which is hard to do with the gun in his hand, not gonna lie. How does this... Okay, so... You can see here, I'll, I'll just do it this way. So it can rotate like so. And then of course you rotate the entire wrist here. The whole thing should turn. It's being a pain in the butt for some reason. Its fingers are not articulated. It's kind of a fixed replaceable hand there. But the thumb, oddly enough, is articulated. So you do get a ball joint there, but you get a thumb knuckle. That's actually pretty decent. Like that just doesn't happen. Let me see if I can peg this back together. And I'm gonna show off. Um, can I show it off on the side? I think I can. Okay, so here is the gimmick I was talking about. Something no Gundam I know of otherwise has. Forearm rotation, guys. And because the arm is the same shape all the way around, it doesn't matter which direction it's going. You can actually match it up. See? That is something that really, really matters when posing because your own arm can twist right in the middle. It's not twisting at your, at your bicep, is it? So that's actually a really kind of unique thing for a Gundam, especially, I guess, even in a Master Grade to have. That's like having the high grades that have the extra wrist, wrist action, you know? So that's okay. That's the same on both arms, obviously. Um, and then you do get some crunch effect there. And you do get waist rotation all the way around. You do get some flappy, flappy, flappy skirts. I think it's multiple jointed. Yeah, it looks like it's got two different ball joints right there. You do get side skirt articulation, as you should. And they get up and out of the way pretty far. Got to be careful, this did not sound good. And he can do an absolutely phenomenal Jean-Claude. Don't mind the dongle. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to remember, yeah, that's just a straight cut out like that. So you do get some leg articulation. Of course you do. You get the nice thigh rotation all the way around. You actually get butt skirts that move a little too well, if I'm honest. So it's got a little ball joint up there. Something feels loose because these can untab. So you can see here it's actually two-part. So this can actually tab. Get in there. Okay, it doesn't want to get in there, guys. I'm sorry. Come on. There it goes. Okay, finally. Jeez. So I guess if you want to lock your butt skirts together and make them flap, you can totally do that. So that's nice. He does get some articulation. Ah, come on. You got to move it out just a little bit. But you can go forward. Totally 90. You can go back about 70 or so. That's always good. And you do get double jointed knees, which have some great articulation. Don't want to push it too far. It feels like it wants to go, but I'm not going to push it. So running into the armor here and there. And you can see some really, really ugly nubs. Early days, guys. Early days. And you can see I did like no kind of inner frame detail work at all. And then you get some really nice, nice ankles. So you think you get a ball joint up in there. So you can get some nice there. And you get a ball joint down here along with a swivel. Yep. So ankle goes kind of any direction kind of its own universal joint i think yeah the the skirts got their own tiny bit of articulation and toe pivot i like me some toe pivot even to the point of way back like that thrusters guys Th <gasps> oh excuse me and i was showing this off on the uh per i'm sorry the uh the high grade model the uh way the beam savers work totally just hinges out and you pull it out. It's very interesting, like a brick of a beam saber. Of course, you see he's holding this one in an upside down fashion. That's not normal, obviously. That's just how I have it. Let's see if I can get it out of the hand. Maybe. Come on. Get out of your own hand. Because now we can talk. I don't think, is it? Oh, yeah, it's tapped in. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's not. Okay, it was just, it was just in there. So you do get a few types of hands. This is clearly the beam saber hand because it's just kind of cupped and shaped to go around the beam saber and you just wedge it in there like so. 
and there's that fun thumb articulation. Now, of course, we have the short middle blade. And I'm going to be totally honest, guys. I don't know what happened to the long blades. He does come with a short and long blade. Um, he might actually come with multiples. I'm not entirely certain. Probably not. Um, like I said, back in the day, I was putting all of the beam blades together. So these may have ended up in a separate project. So he does get the miniature beam blades at the very least. So that's pretty neat. And we'll talk about the shield since we're right here. A lot of people think, even myself, think it should go like this. So that the A is pointed upward like you think it would. But no, it goes like this. And then you get the nice EFF logo there. So Earth Federation Forces, that's pretty cool. I do like it. It does just peg into the form. Wow, that was in there, guys. So you got the peg right there. It plugs in on both sides. And you got to be real, real careful because there's just a little ball joint inside that guy. So... Real solid snap. This guy got together really, really well. You see how a hard time I was having with just the gun. So let's talk about the gun since we're here. So you get the Dodds rifle. You get the little reticle camera right there. But you can also turn it this way. And you get more reticle camera right through there. Because this is kind of a multi-stage rifle. As I showed earlier, you can totally pull it off and it's just a pistol. It rarely gets used like that. That's, I think that's what the original form was. And then you sort of had an add-on like so. And then of course you do get your extra handle. And he can actually hold both if he's really inclined to do so. I like that. I'm going to turn it this way because you can see the cool white sticker like that. Now, uh, the only thing I didn't talk about was the backside, really. So you get the cool multi-directional thrusters of course they have no articulation but that's okay and like i said spoiler because it's a sports car gundam apparently <laughs> all right oh and i was going to talk about these sorry i brought it up and i forgot to mention it these things these are very very strange they are incredibly rigid stickers like very very rigid like you pick them off the uh, sheet it doesn't bend at all you put them in place and they are there <laughs> and that's a good thing, but so weird. I've never seen them on anything else besides this Gundam. So let me get this guy kind of into position like so. He's incredibly poseable, guys, and that's why he's my favorite. That extra little bit of articulation with the forearm rotation really, really makes difference so I want to bring him in with his tinier self so here we have of course the HG version you guys saw this last time and as I proved before um, with this review uh, there's not much they would have to do to make this work I mean literally all of this armor just tabs on or clips on over the existing stuff so I think they need to make this. Bandai, I know you're watching because you watch all of my videos to make sure I'm not stealing your content for some reason. And uh, <laughs> make this happen. I want this and this. I don't care if it's an add-on. You know, they've, they've proven that they can make just an add-on kit for a Master Grade with the uh, full armor uh, or full weapons package, whatever, for the uh, high new and new. So this for this. Come on, guys. Get on it now. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot this, guys. I mentioned the extra fingers and hands, so actually you get, for once, you get a left trigger hand, yay. You get a fisty fist hand. Never really gonna use that, am I? <laughs> oh, that sounded weird. <laughs> and you do get some emotive open hands, and of course the right fist and the uh, right beam saber hand. So uh, you can tell I worked really hard to leave these on the runner. <laughs> they didn't really feel like changing anything. And uh, that's basically the truth of it, guys. Lazy, lazy, but that's okay. I built this guy years ago, and he's still amazing. The joints are as solid as ever. He's still posable as ever. And it's not an expensive kit. And, you know, I've, I've talked about this guy all the time. Like, when people say, what is one of the best Master Grades you've ever built? And I say the uh, MGH1 Normal because it just is. Now, I wish I had the other age variants, like the uh, Spalo or the Titus. Those are currently out of print, but hopefully uh, they'll be reprinting them because they're making these guys again. 
and uh, I'll probably pick up a Spalo at least because the articulation is at least as good as this and it's a cooler looking Gundam. And as a friend pointed out to me, there is a variant of this guy with totally different colors. Well, not totally. He's got like a lighter blue, loses the reds. Really cool looking version. So if I can get that for a decent price, I might. I didn't know it existed until today. So <laughs> we shall see. But that's going to be it for this Master Grade Monday and for this Master Grade Age 1 Normal. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little bit of something. So uh, if you're new here, welcome. Like and subscribe. And you'll get more wonderful content like me comparing these two thingies. <laughs> and talking endlessly about a forearm that can turn. And uh, don't forget, guys, every Tuesday and Thursday, there's a Shoki Quickie or a random -y kind of review of other non-Gundam stuff. Uh, check out the Shoki Nerdcast, where I talk with my friends about fun, nerdy things. There will be another episode coming up um, end of this month, beginning of next month. I'm not entirely certain just yet. So we will see what happens there. And also look for... The MS Report with Dan the Plastic Man. I will be on another episode coming up very, very soon because I like those guys and they're having me on again. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. And remember to always keep on building.